Every second of movement you see in Beyond is motion capture, uh, ranging from you know simple in-game motions, walking, turning, all the way to uh, stunts, fights, four-person fights on train roofs, to performance capture, to full facial and body capture at the same time. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. It is unusual to go in and wear the suit and have these dots on your face. and It's interesting because you're kind of like limited in certain ways, but you're also way more free than when you shoot a movie. I mean, you could kind of do whatever you want. <clears throat> the games we make at Quantic Dream are based in reality. Everything that actually happens in real life has to happen in our game, and the only practical way to get that is to capture the real thing. We have to rebuild the world in out of cardboard and tape and foam. We have to make sure it matches the what's in the game, and we have to make sure that we can actually capture with it because there are limitations to motion capture. So we have these very strange props that look really miserable, but they respect exactly the dimensions of the real set in 3D and the game, so all the contacts are fine. We can't use a car door in motion capture because it's shiny and it's really heavy. We can't see through it, so we have to build the approximate of a car door, but it has to at least have some of the real properties of a car door because just closing a cardboard doesn't play the same as a real car door. You're in a car, and it's this ridiculous looking thing made out of two by fours with a, you know, steering wheel. I'm a guy that likes to, they, when I'm going through a casual environment, I like to have my hands in my pocket. Well, your performance cap shoe doesn't have pockets. So we created these Velcro straps that became my pockets that I would have something to put my hands in. It's like pure imagination. Not just the fact that you're, you know, shooting a scene in a submarine. Cool! cool. <laughs> I was sure you'd love that. <laughs> or you're getting briefed about this uh, intense mission that you're about to go on in Somalia. Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Literally, it's like being a seven-year-old with your best friend and you're pretending that the, the world's gonna end and the bad guys are coming and we have to jump from couch to couch and avoid the lava. I think that that's also what makes it challenging but also really incredible and like raw. Everything becomes kind of uh, bare and essential, but also it's sort of disturbing sometimes. You know, when you're eating in a scene and say we're eating pizza, it's like a little piece of triangle cardboard that, thank God, says pizza on it, or else I would not know what it is. We build the helicopter where there is this uh, very intense dialogue between Judy and Clayton. So everything was on wheels and we were moving the helicopter. Because I trusted you! Performance capture, it's digital acting. Now, the trickiest part of performance capture is, is the preparation. It's, it's getting people ready to perform. Uh, depending on how many actors you have, it takes a while to put the 90 plus markers on the face. They all have to be placed specifically for them to work right on the rig. So you have 88 dots, these beads all over your face. Not only that, but you got all these hard ball like uh, Velcro things all over your body as well. It's gonna pose a little bit of a challenge. I mean, okay. all of these little balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, I got like 10 in my arm. Everything's very refined because they want to have a vocabulary to play with. So you try to be the material. You try to uh, give them as much as you can. In our game, we have dozens of hours of animation. <laughs> Capturing everything demanded an enormous amount of focus of the team to shoot almost every day during one year. And then, of course, treating all this data bringing it to uh, the character in the game. Jody, Jody, where are you? Turn back. The game itself really requires emotion and subtlety, and I think there's no other way to capture all that than the way we're doing it. You know, they rely on each other. We couldn't get this performance without performance capture, and it wouldn't be worth getting unless it was from these people. It's a really great mix of technology and talent.